Uthman radiallahu ta'ala an, the third caliph of Islam, you'll see that he probably narrated the fewest amount of ahadith from all of the khulafa. The fewest amount of ahadith from all of the khulafa. However, the ahadith he did narrate are some of the most profound ahadith. So for example, the ahadith pertaining to how the Prophet ﷺ made wudu are narrated by Uthman radiallahu an. And likewise, the ahadith pertaining to some of the virtues of the Qur'an are related by Uthman radiallahu an. And one of the virtues he related about the Qur'an, he said, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنِ وَعَلَّمَهُ That the Prophet وسلم, said that the best of you, the best of you, are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it to the people. The best of you are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it to the people. And this was reported by Al-Bukhari, rahimahullah. So now, this is what we're trying to achieve. That taking the Qur'an and becoming the best of people. Becoming the best of people by learning the Qur'an, studying the Qur'an, and eventually teaching the Qur'an to others as well. So we want to live this hadith in becoming the best of people. And another point I want to draw your attention to is what is the ruling on studying tafsir? What is the ruling on studying tafsir? By consensus, the studying of tafsir is something which is fard kifaya. Something which is fard kifaya. Meaning that if some people fulfill the obligation of studying tafsir, then the rest are not obliged with it as well. So right now, you as a group are fulfilling a fard kifaya. And the Prophet wasallam said, that the slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they do not draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by anything other than that which is compulsory or obligatory. That the acts which will get you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are those which He has ob obligated. And you, bithnillahi ta'ala, students of tafsir, students of the Qur'an, bithnillahi ta'ala, you're fulfilling this obligation right now. And you're drawing as close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you possibly can.